one, working together to transform the APS workforce. As one, the Australian Public Service Disability Employment Strategy. Senior leaders share their experiences of creating inclusive and confident workplaces for people with a disability. What are reasonable adjustments? Samantha Palmer, Health. Well, reasonable adjustment is often about the little things that make a big difference to people's lives. So reasonable adjustment might be as simple as having flexibility with your working hours at times when, if you have a, a medical condition, you need to change your treatment regime or you need to change your uh, um, pharmaceuticals. And at that time, you might need to adjust your working hours. Very simple things. It might be as little as having a piece of equipment on your desk that helps reduce pain and increase your productivity on the keyboard or um, it might be about a piece of software that allows you, if you're visually impaired, to do your work much faster than the current piece of software you have. Um, and the little things that help people to perform to their absolute level of performance and productivity um, often don't cost very much, particularly if you think about how long they last. If you've got an EL1 who might need something and they've got a five or a ten year um, period of time that that um, product will last, that's often quite a small amount of money over the course of that investment in their salary. Why are reasonable adjustments so important to people with a disability? Michael Pinney, ATO. Reasonable adjustment is important for people with disabilities because they want to feel like everyone else. They will feel embraced by the workforce and feel part of the workforce. And reasonable adjustment gives them the capacity to do the job like everyone else can. What makes reasonable adjustments effective? Craig Farrell, Immigration and Border Protection. Without being too pedantic about the terminology, I think one of the most powerful reasonable adjustments is just understanding and the ability to get a better understanding of what disability is and what a specific disability is. Something as simple as having a discussion at a team meeting about a specific disability that may or may not be present in your team is very, very powerful and can sometimes mean a lot more to the person with disability than a physical adjustment to the workplace. In my view, the most important thing to consider in reasonable adjustment is attitude. If the attitude of the managers and the colleagues around the person with the disability is right, that's a great stepping stone towards reasonable adjustment. The, the other rights are important, e.g. keyboards, masks, telephones, etc. But without the right attitude, those physical aids can be rendered fairly useless. As one, working together to transform the APS workforce.